The world's largest iceberg has finally begun moving after being stuck to the ocean floor for more than three decades. Which is twice the size of Greater London is now about to spill beyond Antarctic waters. It had been grounded since it is split from an ice shelf in 1986. Ships pursuing the frigid waters near the Antarctic Peninsula in the south of South America will need to keep an eye on their radar for a floating island of ice the largest iceberg in the world which has broken off from Antarctica. The iceberg which had been grounded on the seafloor since the mid-1980s is now moving away from Antarctica and picking up speed. Scientists say the massive chunk of ice is drifting at a rate of 3 miles each day. You might think this has something to do with global warming and climate change, but the movement appears to be a natural occurrence and researchers haven't found a specific inciting event that started the drifting. So, where is the iceberg headed towards, and what happens when it reaches its final destination? Let's find out! The massive iceberg that broke off has been given the unglamorous name A23A. The iceberg measures around 4,000 square kilometers or 1,500 square miles. That is more than 20 times the size of Washington, D.C. or 3 times the size of New York City and it's roughly 1,300 feet thick, making it two and one-third times the height of the Washington Monument. It weighs nearly one trillion metric tons. It's so big, scientists are calling it a megaberg. If you were to set foot on A23A, you likely wouldn't realize it's an iceberg floating loose at sea. Its scale would simply fill the horizon, and any movement would be imperceptible. A 23A first broke off from West Antarctica's Filchneron ice shelf in 1986. When A23A was still part of an ice shelf, it held a Soviet research station called Drishnya 1 for about 10 years. When the A23 iceberg calved and floated off in 1986, Drishnya 1 was still on it. In February 1987, a Soviet ship tracked the iceberg down and deployed a landing party aboard a helicopter to salvage the most valuable equipment from the station. After this initial break off, it has largely been stranded after its base became stuck on the floor of the Weddell Sea, which is part of the Southern Ocean between Antarctica and South America. The British Antarctic Survey first noticed the iceberg was moving again in 2020. Satellite imagery from the British Antarctic Survey showed currents and winds pushed the iceberg thousands of kilometers through the Weddell Sea in 2022 and 2023. While this makes it the largest iceberg now bobbing in the world's oceans, it is not the largest on record. In 2021, A23A briefly lost its title of the world's biggest iceberg when the larger iceberg A76 broke off from West Antarctica. That behemoth measured 4,320 square kilometers or 1,668 square miles when it broke off. But A23A regained its crown after A76 split into three smaller pieces. Iceberg A23A is also among the world's oldest icebergs. So what caused this huge chunk of ice to break off? Large icebergs like A23A break off from Antarctica around once per decade. And when this happens, they get stuck in the Antarctic's cold waters, which staves off their melting, but only for a while. While researchers haven't identified a specific event that would have initiated the drifting, it is believed that the iceberg may have thinned over time, providing extra buoyancy that's allowed it to lift off the ocean floor, after which strong winds and ocean currents would be able to move the iceberg along its current trajectory. Iceberg calving is part of the natural cycle, with huge chunks of ice breaking off the ice shelf at regular intervals. Scientists aren't attributing this particular break-off to climate change and instead believe it's part of the natural cycle of iceberg calving in the region. According to Dr. Andrew Fleming, a British Antarctic Survey remote sensing expert, it was only a matter of time before the colossal chunk of ice broke loose. Once it melts, the new iceberg will not lead to a sea level rise because it was part of a floating ice shelf, just like a melting ice cube doesn't increase the level of the drink in your glass. That makes icebergs like this different from glaciers or ice sheets, which are found on land, and which do raise global sea levels when they break off into the ocean and melt. The next question is, where is this iceberg headed towards? 
Aided by strong winds and currents, the iceberg has been moving faster in recent months and is now reaching the top of the Antarctic Peninsula. Scientists say as it gains steam, the colossal berg will likely be launched into the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. That is the same current of water that the famed explorer, Ernest Shackleton, used in 1916 to make his storied escape from Antarctica after losing his ship, the Endurance. The legendary shipwreck was discovered off the coast of Antarctica just last year. Eventually, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current will funnel the iceberg toward the Southern Ocean on a path known as Iceberg Alley where others of its kind can be found bobbing in dark waters. Since it's rare for such a large iceberg to be on the move, scientists will follow its trajectory closely. The European Space Agency's Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission has been closely tracking the movement of A23A. Copernicus EU shared four separate satellite images comparing the iceberg's changing position over the last month. Astronauts on the International Space Station have also been able to track the iceberg's movement out of the Weddell Sea. Expedition 70 shared a view of A23A, taken on November 21st from the orbiting lab. Now you might be wondering, is this moving iceberg a cause for concern? According to the British Arctic Survey, people are not at risk from A23A, but on the other hand, it may cause issues for wildlife if it runs aground in breeding areas, as massive icebergs scrape and scour the seafloor in shallow waters. There's a lot of life that lives in the bottom of the ocean that is just completely crushed and destroyed when one of these things passes over. The drifting iceberg could end up at the island of South Georgia, located a little over 1,000 miles east of the southern tip of South America. There, it could disrupt the foraging of seals, penguins, and other seabirds. In 2020, another giant iceberg A68 stirred fears that it would collide with South Georgia, crushing marine life on the seafloor and cutting off food access. Such a catastrophe was ultimately averted when the iceberg broke up into smaller chunks, a possible endgame for A23A as well. But an iceberg of this scale has the potential to survive for quite a long time in the Southern Ocean, even though it's much warmer, and it could make its way farther north up towards South Africa where it can disrupt shipping. If A23A doesn't get hung up in shallow and warmer waters, it could wind up drifting even into the Indian Ocean. Icebergs have even drifted all the way into the Pacific and come up on Chile, almost circumnavigating the globe. Some of the largest icebergs have done that in the past. These enormous shards of ice are not just dangerous beauties floating through remote Chile waters. They serve an important purpose in the larger ecosystem by releasing minerals as they melt. The dust that collected in their ice as they scrape along Antarctica's rock bed, serves as a nutrient source for tiny organisms at the base of marine food chains. The icebergs also give scientists an idea of the changes wrought when massive plates of ice, formed in the coldest parts of the world, suddenly find themselves in warmer conditions. The main scientific source of interest for the iceberg is sampling ocean surface waters near it, to understand the effects of temperature, changes to salinity, released nutrients, etc., along its path. This part of the Southern Ocean is normally very poor in nutrients. An iceberg like A23A can help change that by shedding nutrients it accumulated from Antarctica and stirring up deep water, possibly sparking a plankton bloom in its wake. While A23A's breakaway from Antarctica was likely a natural occurrence, the British Arctic Survey says climate change is driving changes in Antarctica's ice and the continent is losing enormous quantities of ice every year. The National Snow and Ice Data Center announced in September that Antarctic sea ice reached its lowest annual maximum in recorded history this year. After reaching a record low in 2022, sea ice around the continent did not recover as much as usual this year, remaining far below average into the southern winter. If Antarctica's entire ice sheet were to melt, it could raise sea levels by nearly 190 feet and wreak havoc across the globe. Therefore, it is critical that we take urgent decisive action to slow the effects of the climate crisis and protect humanity from rapid catastrophic sea level rise caused by the melting Antarctic ice sheet. Do you have any interesting thoughts on the iceberg that broke off? Leave a comment below, 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.